everybody and welcome back to my channel. So it's really exciting today because I've made my way to Norwich because a little dicky bird tells me that a brand new pound shop has opened up. And it's not just any old pound shop, it's humongous because it's actually in place of where the old BHS was. And as we all know, BHS was a department store. So this is gonna be massive. And with it being brand new, I just have to go and have a look around and feeling so, so nosy. So I'm not on my own for this vlog. I have brought my mum with me. I've brought Casper because everywhere I go, Casper goes, obviously. So we're starting off in Cafe Nero. We're having a cup of coffee just to get ourselves in the mood. But we're gonna head to Pound Shop now and we're gonna see what bargains we can pick up. Have a look and see what it's like and just see how big it actually is. I can't wait. I love a good old new shop. Let's go. trolleys do these take a pound yeah <laughs> I don't carry cash so no trolleys it's gonna have to be a basket <sighs> these are really annoying to pull so if you're a tall person you've got bend down to pull them So mum's already in here, so let's see if we can find her. Hi mum. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. We're in the new shop, hi everybody. Are you excited? Yeah, I've not been here before. <laughs> it's a bit messy already, isn't it? Yeah. People that come in here are like vultures. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm interested in this look these Poundland shampoos, apple flavoured, hey, flavoured, scented. Finally, there's something in Poundland that's a pound. I know, that's and what I was just pound. saying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut and almond, I wonder if this is any good. Will you do the honours and just smell it, mum, and tell us what you think? You can open it, I don't, you, you need to smell it. I'm not saying squeeze it out. Yeah, Does it smell good? good. Yeah, it smells quite nice. Never seen anything like that in Pound Shop before. Hmm, I smell like coconut, you know? Wow. Nutty. A bit like you, Gary. Oh, thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> it's just charming, isn't it? Referred to as nutty. I know it's can tell a lie. Yeah. Some of the shelves are quite sparse. I think they could do with topping up. But having said that, if people have been in here and they've just been attacking everything, then you can understand why, can't you? No, we don't go like the fruits. Yeah. For example, this is what I'm talking about with the pound shop. They've got things in here that are not like a pound, like 350. Don't get me wrong, this is a decent brand. So they've got brands in here now and they're charging more than a pound for them. Um, which I can kind of understand when they're brands, but then there's other things like, well, I've never heard of this hair dye before and that's 250. But it's not really a pound shop, is it? This might as well just be super dry. Yeah, most pound shops don't really have brands. Well, I've never really seen brands in pound shops before. Mum's stocking up with the mini cheddars, why not? Dad was telling me that he's been getting his glasses from the pound shop. And that can't be healthy for him to not go and get his eyes checked out. £1.50 for a pair. Are they any good though? I don't actually wear glasses, not really, so. Yeah. I don't know. Wing it. Buy a pair of glasses and here and wing it. Now we're moving into some household stuff. Oh, 
Oh, this stuff looks nice. Obviously, it's not a pound, this home stuff, but it looks quite nice. Like bohemian kind of look. It's a nice photo frame. Hmm. What is that? It's like, is this like something you put your necklaces on? Or is it just decoration? That's quite freaky. If I had that in my house, I'd be a bit freaked out, actually. But at first I thought it was something to put your necklaces on, but it says decoration, so maybe it's not. If I'm just trying to trash the place. Bumpies. From one pound. So what's a pound then? Nothing. Just don't get that. It should be from one pound forty, right? you've been to New York. Yeah, even though you haven't. I know someone that has been to New York though. <laughs> no, but that's really nice. And they've got quite a few different ones here. For the money, I'm getting Primark vibes. Yeah, they're not bad. It's a nice colour for summer. Yeah, I like that colour. We could start getting our Christmas presents now, Mum. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'll buy you one of them. <laughs> no, not for me. <laughs> Take one off for me. I could buy one of these ones for Holly. Girls support girls. Oh. Holly's birthday present, what do you reckon? They've folded them really nice though, I must say. They've done a nice job with the clothing. It's quite, it is like, the way they folded them and presented them makes you want to buy. I've never actually seen a pound shop with a clothing range like this actually before. This is yeah, it's nice. Oh look! Like I know that Fumps isn't a little girl, but these are really nice for a little girl. Fumps shoes are really similar to that in blue actually. And how much are we looking at for a pair of these? Fiver. Nice. That's if you don't get blisters from him. <laughs> oh my God, I need a white bra. Think they're any good? In fact, this feels just like a Primark bra. Oh, I could risk it for a biscuit and get one of them. Cause it's strapless. Do you reckon that'd fall down? I could take it on my holidays with me and pray. <laughs> I wonder how supportive these bras are. I'd get some, but I can't see any of my size. Which is a bit of a shame. This is a problem when you're breastfeeding, you don't know what size you are. Just all over the place. Nice range of shoes. I mean, they're not my cup of tea, but they're a nice range. That's a bit creased. That needed an iron before it went up there. Oh, mum, you said you were looking for a skirt. Yeah, but look how short it is. I'm looking for a skirt <laughs> that's long enough. Oh, look. How much length do I want Glamorous to granny. It's <laughs> the right kind of skirt, but too short, like they all are. <laughs> well, I like that hoodie. That's nice. It's a 
nice hoodie, isn't it? Yeah, it does actually. That's quite nice though. Oh, I do like my vest tops. That's a nice colour. Quite impressed with the clothing range. Can't beat a bit of Tupperware, can you? Is that like a, a sieve that you? That's good, isn't it? <gasps> a cake slice. God, I need a cake slice. Oh, they're a bit like the slippers Tim gets from the hotels. Oh, wow. They're cute. Oh, oh my goodness. They've got little dinosaur things. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's cute. Organic. That's cool. Six pounds. Love the fact that they've got like this Mickey Mouse going on, this bit of Disney here and a bit of Tom and Jerry here. Nice little bit of theming. Like I'm loving that. Mm -hmm. These little trousers that say, what's up dark on them? <laughs> and they're so cheap. I mean, we're talking four pounds. Crazy. And this is like a Scooby-Doo denim jacket for nine pound. That's really cool. And a Bugs Bunny. That is so cute. I love that. So 
Tom and Jerry hoodies. Donald Duck. Oh my god, I haven't heard of Donald Duck for a long time. Is Donald Duck still on TV? Oh, these clothes are nice for little boys. It does really feel like Primark. Oh, that's a nice hoodie in the yellow. Oh, Mum, there's some nice stuff here. See, these start from ages three to four, the bigger size. So I don't think, I think they might be a bit too big on front, some of this stuff. Yeah, it's a nice range though. I'm absolutely stunned that Poundland, I've got a clothing range that's actually this nice. I'm shocked. A smart pair of trousers. But yeah, a bit too big for thumps, those ones. Oh my God, Smurf shoes? What? <laughs> oh my God, they are so cool. Thing is, Bumps can have them because they would kill his feet literally. Because he has got, like I've told you before, fat feet. Just found the perfect t shirt for Tim. Five quid. <laughs> Unknown destination. Because he will never know where he's going next. I am tempted to buy that for Tim. Do you think he'd wear it? Mum, do you think Tim would wear this if I bought it for him? Well, he's getting older. You've got to wear these Hawaiian shirts as you get older. <laughs> is that a thing, is it? When you get older, wear a Hawaiian top? Yeah. Do you think he'd wear it? Yeah. It's got a Hollister vibe, isn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to treat him for the holiday. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know if he'd appreciate it or not. He might just use it to go to bed in like he usually does with the tops I buy in. I'm not sure he'd wear it. I don't know. Yeah, but keep my mouth shut, he wouldn't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's got Hollister vibes. I've cut the tag out. <laughs> oh, we've got birthday cards. Actually need to get my brother a birthday card actually. He'll never know it's from the pound shop. Brother, that'll do. Mm. I want one that's going to make him feel rubbish, and these are too nice. What is it, Tippex? Yeah, it's not bad. It's a good go in that. Yeah, that's about right for my brother. <laughs> The thing is, they're just too kind. They're just too kind, these cards. Do I need something really insulting for my brother? Oh, an inflatable cake. Oh, we've got some toys here, but again, none of them are a pound. Any of them are a pound. They don't really look like they're like amazing deals on these toys. I mean, 10 pound for my little pony. You could probably get something just as good in home bargains. They got Gabby's dolls house funkies! Yeah! Look at that! Wow! Who's that girl? We know who she is! Wow, 
well surprised to see them in here. Oh, they got books. Look, look, bumpies. Wow. No. Plenty of charges. If you ever need a charger, I don't know how trustworthy pound land chargers are. <laughs> I've heard different stories. They're probably all right, but I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily recommend because I wouldn't want to be responsible. Ooh, hot noodles. That's what Tim would have for dinner every night if he had the choice. Sun creams. Oh my god, this body cream is actually designed to look like sanctuary. Obviously, it's not sanctuary. But it's like a little bit deceiving because at a glance you'd go oh sanctuary but this is a true brand here this is real this Malibu oh what's this mosquito and insect repellent wipes long lasting up to four hours That can't quite good for kids. Oh my God, brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Stuff's going on as well, Mum. So you're no. gonna have to give me the money back. I'll put it on your debt. Oh, that's a good idea. Put it on my debt. Well, take it off your debt. Yeah. it's the following day and the reason it's the following day and not the day when i had actually been to poundland is because coming home from norwich yesterday i put the wrong fuel in my car yet yeah, like a complete and utter idiot hi everyone guess where we are we are stranded at a bp garage Yes, so we went into Norwich today to film the Poundland haul, which I promised you this morning for coffee morning. And coming home, rushing, what did I go and do? Tell him, Mum. What did I do? You tell him. I can't bear it. <laughs> put the wrong fuel in my car. So I take petrol and I put diesel in because my old car, which I had over a year ago, took diesel and not thinking i just put diesel in my car rushing and i was like no and i'm driving down like the motorway not the motorway what is it what have we got a dual carriage <laughs> not a motorway yeah. and i'm driving down there and i'm like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> why are we why is it lagging why is the car lagging what's going on here it's not like my car my car's usually bang on it's really reliable but this is really unusual and then it hit me that the nozzle I used was black. And I was like, oh my God. And I said, mum, I got a receipt. It's down there. When Check looked, the receipt. When we looked at the receipt, guess what fuel it says on the receipt? Diesel. Answers on a postcard. Yeah. So I was stranded until nine o'clock at night. So 
I hope this vlog is worth it. I really, really do because I went through hell to get to this point. But anyway, I am home now. Obviously, it's the following day. And I'm like, to be honest with you, I don't generally buy a lot of stuff from Poundland. But I really did want to go in there and have a bit of a nosy and just um, like open myself up to the idea of maybe picking something up that I quite liked and I did manage to grab a few things and bring them home with me and um, I was quite impressed with some stuff so I'm going to show you what I got um the stuff I got I bought this bag for so one of the good things I did notice about Poundland is obviously they do these um bag for lifes don't they um, they don't have like plastic bags anymore and they're a pound right um which i suppose isn't much more than a plastic bag these days if you think about it and they've got all sorts of like quirky ones and that and there was like two that i was really torn between there was one with jelly beans all over it and i really like that one or there was this one but the reason i went for this one is because i really like what it said because i think um it's quite inspiring i think everybody should live in the moment and just enjoy their lives but I also thought, you know, I can actually fold this up, stick it in my holiday suitcase and it might come in handy if I want to take it down to the beach. I don't know. So or if I want to buy things at the airport, I could just whip it out of my suitcase uh, or my baby bag. Yeah, I quite like this. I'm loving the colouring on it as well. So give them credit. Their bags for life are really, really nice. I do like them. I, honestly, I could have bought all of them, to be honest. So anyway, let me just give you the lowdown and show you what I bought. So I managed to pick up some of these kids mosquito repellent wipes, which I thought is a really, really cool idea because you can probably get them in other places, but I've just never really noticed them. So maybe it is the packaging that stood out to me. I don't know, but I have never seen kids mosquito and insect repellent wipes before. But I thought these are going to be really handy on holiday and in the summer. So I'm going to wipe casper's legs down with these on his arms and hopefully that will protect him but obviously they were only a pound a lot of things in the pound shop are not a pound um not anymore but these actually were you get 25 wipes in them as you can see last up to four hours so obviously you have to keep sort of reapplying but you know you probably only need like a few of those really um but they should cover you for the duration of your holiday uh where we're heading in spain we don't usually get things like that but you just never know do you so we've managed to pick them up so that's good i just realized i put shoes on the table no it doesn't count because they're baby shoes and they're a flip-flop anyway so it doesn't count I hope. I better get them on the floor ASAP. So anyway, I've gone for these um, little sandals for bumps. Now, I have major problems with shoes with Casper because like I've said to you before in my vlogs, his feet are really fat. Um, but I tried these on him and thought these might work because they're a really flexible sole. And I'm probably just going to use them for a few holidays. However long they last, they last. Um they've got a cute design and I thought because they adjust they've got two straps per shoe um I can actually adjust them around the width of his foot um now are these comfortable yeah, they feel comfortable to be fair um we have tried them on him and he seems okay in them they seem quite soft and like a very soft fabric but these only cost five pound and I just thought, if they work, they work. If they don't, it's £5. But it's worth a try because I can't find shoes for Casper anywhere unless I order them online from Clark's or go to John Lewis. But John Lewis do Clark's and start right and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'll give it a go. See how we get on. I did mention actually that whilst I was walking around Poundland and I was walking around the clothing area, I was getting some Primark vibes. I don't think the clothing is as good as Primark, but I would say that the quality of clothing is definitely on the up because the way they're presenting them now and they're folding up, putting them on shelves and yeah, and they've got, yeah, they, they are a little bit on the up. I personally wouldn't wear any clothes from there myself. There wasn't really anything that was for me, to be honest with you, but in the kids range it's all right you know if you just want to 
pay very little money and you just want something for your children that are just tidy and got to sort of like time over for daytimes and stuff like that because kids outgrow clothes so quickly anyway um i thought it was quite good actually um i'm going to show you what i picked up clothing wise so i picked up this hoodie for casper i thought this is going to be fantastic from the aircraft because you always need to have layers on an aircraft because you get air conditioning on there but before the air conditioning comes on and before you've took off it's really hot or it can be the opposite way around you never know whether it's going to be freezing cold or really hot so always layer up on an aircraft and i thought this was wonderful for casper he has got a few hoodies but like I say he's grown out of them really really quickly this is really nice it's still innocent because it's got like a little teddy bear on it and i absolutely love the fact that that teddy bear is on it because I'm still trying to keep him as innocent as I can. Um, either he does have like a few dinosaurs and some of his clothes, but I still want to keep him, um, yeah, innocent. And I love the colouring of it. It's a really light brown, obviously, as you can see. Um, it's a really nice texture. I don't know what kind of texture you'd call this, but it's almost like a little, um, you know, like a crisscrossy kind of waffle kind of feel if you know what I mean I can't really explain it but the good thing about this is it's organic cotton so it's gonna be really kind to his skin Casper can sometimes have eczema flare-ups I thought this was gonna be really kind to him and it feels quite warm as well it doesn't feel it doesn't feel too bulky but it doesn't feel too cold um so it's like somewhere in the middle so it's the perfect hoodie for like spring going into summer yeah, I really, really like this and I only paid um, £6 for it, which I think is really, really good because if you went into Boots Mother Care and bought a hoodie, you're looking at £10, maybe plus. Casper goes through trousers like there is no tomorrow, so I thought why not pick him up some trousers as well. Now, this was quite frustrating because this came as a two-pack and I like this pair of joggers at the front. Um, it's got like a little elephant on it and I really like the cream on it but the other pair on the other side is the same kind of brown as the hoodie which I don't mind the colour but I don't really like this this style with the line going down the centre of the front of the leg I don't really like that look um, not on a joggers I mean not even on an adult I wouldn't like that kind of style so unfortunately if I wanted to get these ones they came as a two pack so I got them too so I'm just gonna probably use these again for traveling or just like play days and stuff like that but it's a two pack and four quid so it works out two pound a pair of trousers which is a bargain even if like you just get a little bit of wear out of them it's two pounds so it's reasonable so i was quite pleased with that if you're taking liquids you can't take anything over 100 mil uh so i've picked some of these up in case i need them now i don't think i do because i have got luggage going in the hold so i should be okay but just in case i need something i thought if i pick some of these up i can't go wrong so i've got some ready to go and again these are a pound and you get seven seven items in there so you've got your your spray one uh in fact there are two spray ones here uh, these ones are more like lotions, so they've got the cap that you push back and um, to get your liquids out. And you've got two little pots here for whether you want like some sort of cream or eye cream or something like that. And it comes with a little funnel so that you can easily filter your liquids into these things. Now that's okay if you're filtering in like a watery kind of liquid, but if you are wanting to put some sort of lotion you've got no chance in using that funnel, just forget it. Cause that's just so piddly and flimsy, it's just not gonna work. So that's more like the water aspects. I mean, I mean, I'll try it if I need to, but I'm not holding my breath with that funnel. And the last thing I got, cause like I said, I didn't buy much because although there are plenty of things in there, there wasn't loads of things that I needed. Like I said, I'd done a home bargains haul not that long ago anyway. If I hadn't done my home bargains haul, I might have needed some more bits. But um, I've also picked up some hand wash. And this hand wash is 
a 600 ml one so it's massive so it's going to last for ages and when i buy my hand washes i'm very conscious that i want a very high like antibacterial one and i also want one that's going to keep my hands moisturized because i'm constantly washing my hands throughout the day almost like someone who's got ocd and i don't but it's just because of casper so i'm just constantly constantly keeping my hands clean and my hands dry out so it's really important for me to have something that's got some sort of moisturizer in it. And this says antibacterial hand wash, soothing and moisturizer. So it's going to have some moisturizer in it. Um, I haven't read the back. I haven't read the ingredients yet because I haven't quite had time. But it's worth a try. Um, 600 ml, that should last me quite a bit. And this actually was a pound as well. So for a pound, I thought that wasn't bad. Um, so that's everything I managed to pick up from Poundland. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. It's quite exciting when new stores open, isn't it? Whether it be a Poundland, a new Home Bargains, a new B&M. And for me, I just really needed to go have a little bit of a nosy and see what it was all about. And I did that and I was quite impressed, to be honest with you. But how long is it going to take before it becomes trashed? <laughs> I guess people abuse things, don't they? Uh, I don't know. But at the moment, it is... The, the shelves are a little bit sparse i'll give it that so but then having said that if it's in high demand i can understand it um but it is in really great condition because it's brand new and it was nice to walk around they had plenty there they range from like your toiletries to your clothing to your gardening to food um baby stuff um they houseware they had it all to be honest there is a good chance that if you need something for everyday purposes, you may just find it in Poundland. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I hope that I've managed to give you guys some tips and give you a little bit of insight as to what it's like inside the new Poundland in Norwich. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed this vlog, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Why not drop a comment? If you'd like to check out previous hauls from Poundland and Home Bargains, just check out here and here. And I'll catch you next time. See you everyone. Bye bye.